What's up guys, Dogs Life here. I wanted to bring you some more Battlefield 4 gameplay. This time we're going to be playing some post-spring patch DLC gameplay on Battlefield 4. We're going to be playing some squad deathmatch. And this time I wanted to do something a little different and kind of do a weapon review of sorts. We're going to be playing squad deathmatch. It's going to be a great round on Goldmut Railway. But I wanted to start bringing some videos as promised with the new weapons that were given free to the community by dice ea and battlefield for uh this one the first one we're going to do is the groza one it is a carbine so the interesting thing as you probably know in battlefield 4 is that it can be used by any of the different classes in the game uh, i'll also be doing some videos on the an94 the uh, new l85 light machine gun the mare's leg secondary uh, and the Groza 1. So I'll be bringing some different videos But this particular one we're going to be kind of taking a look at this Groza 1 as you can see it is a carbine and it handles similar to other carbines in the game um, I've been trying to get a feel for it and I always try to think of what I can kind of compare it to um, It's kind of tough to say in some ways It's kind of like the way it looks on my screen and the way it handles it's kind of like an a the a91 carbine then it, it kind of reminds me of uh, the QBZ. Uh, it just, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's not my favorite, that's for sure. But it's definitely not awful once you get the hang of it. There's a few things you need to know about this particular gun, though. One, it does have some of the highest damage per second in Battlefield 4. So it has 31 max damage, I believe, at close range. So it's, it's a high damaging carbine. The biggest downfall of it, besides the sort of longest reload, because it is a bullpup design, is the the obnoxiously uh, deviation in your aim and your bullet spread. It's like you aim right on target, you aim at somebody's head or you aim at their body, whatever it is, and watch. Sometimes you'll see, I'll tap fire at range or whatever the case may be. Look at this guy. He's trying to do the same thing he did to me last time with that claymore, but I catch him that time. I knew he was going to try the same bullshit with his C4 or whatever. I'm waiting for my team to move in. They've got it covered over here. They take him out. We're moving upstairs. Take this guy out. And we clear it there. I got the shorty 12 gauge as always. But as I was saying, with the grows of one, sometimes you're right on target. And, you know, you tap fire or you fire full auto in. The first couple bullets just kind of go wherever they want to go. It's bizarre. Like, I don't understand why they did it exactly. I think since they gave it such a high damage model, they thought, well, how can we balance that? Let's just give it some fucked up ass accuracy. And that's just... It's one of those things that if you're a skilled player in Battlefield and you're you're used to, okay, I'm aiming, I'm on target, I got the drop on this guy, then I want my bullets to go where my crosshairs say it should go. And they, they will. It's not like they're going to go in a completely opposite direction. But they're going to miss. They're going to miss at range especially because if you shoot 10 shots in your magazine and six of them kind of fly by the guy's head, you'll see what I mean when you play with it. Take my word for it. You will definitely notice it though. And none of the other guns that I'm familiar with in Battlefield 4 really do that that much. One of the things in the patch that you'll notice is these kind of tracer rounds. Watch when I shoot, not the shorty here, but watch when I go back to shooting the Groza 1. You're going to see these kind of tracer rounds coming out the gun. Um, so you can kind of tell where the bullets are going on your own gun, not just enemy fire. And it really won't bother you. You'll you, after a round or two, you won't even think of it. You'll it'll just become second nature. But that's why I think. Look at this. This guy's just. I can't get him with the shorty. I try to go for the knife. He lays me down. But obviously they take him out. I was going at it with that guy, Josel, whatever the fuck. Try pronouncing his name. Uh, I killed him so many times. He killed me a few times. But uh, you'll see what I mean when you play the tracers. See them? See those bullet, those shots coming at me right now? You can see those tracers. When I use the shorty, you're really not going to see it quite as much. Uh, but that's how I know my bullets are not going on track. Anyway, not to beat a dead horse. Grows a one. All in all, good carbine. Uh, once the newness wears off, if I do pick a carbine just like I normally would, it is not going to be my, my top pick. It's not going to be my go-to. I probably won't use it that often, honestly. There's so many weapons in Battlefield 4. Just carbines. There's fucking, what, 10, 12 of them? So, no, I'm not going to pick it that often. I'm going to go with the AK-5C 
or the beast mode of all, the ACWR. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take a hell of a fucking carbine in this game to make me not pick the ACR if I'm picking a carbine. I mean, that gun is just stupid. But anyway, you know, obviously we want to try them out. These are free, keep in mind. You don't have to pay for them. They put them in the game to kind of say, hey, see that? That example, I meant to stop talking right there and show you. See how I did take that guy out at range, but I had to tap and tap and tap and tap. I don't know how many times I had to fire. If dude was had any idea where the fuck I was, he would have sniped me. But, you know, you can take people out of range. It just takes patience and really, when I say tap, I mean almost like two-round bursts. Uh, so it's an interesting gun. You play for it for yourself. It's got some weird ass iron sights on it that you'll start off with. They're not bad. For close quarters, they're actually kind of awesome. For anything beyond close quarters, they're awful. So there's these there's these kind of glaring polar opposites with this gun. It's like really great damage, shitty reload, inaccurate. Decent iron sights at you know close quarters, but they're terrible at range. So there's just kind of a love hate thing going on with this gun for me anyway. But with the little Cobra, we do pretty well in this map. Now, Gold Mud Railway is my fucking map. I mean, it's just one of those maps I'm on Conquest or if I'm on Squad Deathmatch, whatever it is. I know every nook and cranny of Gold Mud Railway. I play a lot of Gold Mud only servers on Conquest, even though you almost never see that on my channel. I play it a lot when I'm just having fun. So I know this map extremely well. Anyway, right now, let's take a look at what's going on in the gameplay. We're up 30, actually, we're down right now. 35-32. You can see 35-32 and then the 24-13. The other two teams are pretty much out of it. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you they make some huge comeback. It's pretty much our squad, which is Alpha, versus Charlie's squad. Which, Charlie's in the lead by about 3-4 kills right now. And I'm starting to realize that right about now when I was playing in this particular round. I'm like, wait a minute, fuck. We had been steamrolling team after team, squad after squad for probably 10 rounds tonight. I actually have been playing these particular videos, this gameplay that you're seeing. And this was the first round where somebody actually started getting the better of us and had the lead on us for a little bit. So this is about where I'm like, wait a minute, they're at 38. You know, they're about 12 kills from this being over. And after I take this one last guy out, I think right here, when I get back down into the buildings, I just go ham. I mean, it's coming up in just a second. I want to say right at the end, I get like six, seven kills in like 10 seconds. You're about to see it. It's fucking crazy. This is, I hear the music playing. This is where I realize it. I'm like, what the fuck? Are we going to lose? And I knew I was having a good round and I wanted to showcase the gross of one. So I'm like, we need the win because I want to win. I want our squad to win. And I want to be able to put this video up tonight. I see these guys up in this house. I thought there was one. Watch how many. Ready? There's one on the stairs. Take him out. Switch to my shorty. I'm in close quarters. Take the spawn beacon out. Hello. Two. Three. Three guys just like that. Now it's 39-43. They're winning, but I'm like, we can turn this around. I'm like, let me reload. While I'm reloading, I'm doing 360 degree turns, and I'm looking for enemies anywhere. Spotting is different after the patch. You can't just spam in the general direction. You need to actually ADS or put your crosshairs over the target and then spam the spot button. And it'll still spot people, don't worry, but it's it's different. You'll see. Anyway, look at this. 4146. I mean they've got us, right? This is where we go fucking crazy. Not just me, the whole team. We're gonna lay this guy down. I saved my buddy's life. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he gave up or what. He's just standing there. 46 43 they're up by three we need a few more kills i reload the grows of one come up in the house i'm like look at all these guys in the mini map they're right down here this recon guy knows just like i do i'm like where are they there's the guy right there he spawned right in front of me dead take him out 47 45 take this guy out i missed with the shorty like three times i'm like fuck it i'm gonna go for the knife i don't even give a shit i go for the knife i get it 48 47 i'm like oh my god i'm gonna go for another knife but he counters me shoves it in my gut but that guy spam fires him for the fucking win 50 to 49 to 32 to 21 but 50 to 49 i can't believe we made that comeback i mean that was like literally last couple seconds of the match we, we were down by like seven or eight and in five seconds we came back i go 18 and four i have a really good round with the groza one What's my thoughts and summary? Eh, just eh. It's a fucking other carbine and it's not that great. ACR, AK5C, those are going to be your go-tos. MTAR, hello. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy my content,
please subscribe to the channel, please leave a comment and a like, any support is appreciated, I read the comments, I will respond, I love you guys even though I got a couple subscribers right now, more videos coming your way showcasing the other guns in the DLC, this is Dog's Life, I'll see you in the next video.